I gotta let it end, I can't cut it off. All right, hey everybody, happy Friday. It's Greg Rand. We're right on time as usual, so are you, so thanks for being here. Um, we have some pretty cool stuff to go over today, and I want to jump right into it because we've um, filled you in over time about the things that we've been working on and some policy changes we were making about um, what we were doing with the customers that are coming our way because we're a relatively small organization and we need support. So uh, these webinars on Fridays and our certification and the technology tools have been existing and kind of moving in the same direction, but now they're getting tied together in a way that is more than we had before. So um, let me just take my screen off, save the bandwidth, um, and let's go. All right, so there's that, there's that kid again. All right, so do me a favor. Raise your hand if you want to share today. We talked about this last week. A bunch of people said they were going to take action this week. I'm hoping that some people did, and I'm sure you did. I'm hoping you got some results, and a little bit later on, I'm going to ask you if you raise your hand now, I'm going to call on you a little bit later on and unmute you, and you can share uh, what you did. If you are too shy to share, um, send me a little note in the question saying, Greg, I'm too shy to share. That's cool. I'd rather talk to you about it offline then. Um, and if you don't say I'm too shy to share and you don't raise your hand, that means you didn't either you're checking your email, and I'm not sure why you'd be doing that. Um, so I think you get the idea. Let's keep going. All right, so we have a new listing presentation that we developed that we want to show you now. Um, and before I do that, I'm actually going to jump in and make a brief announcement here about how um, we are giving our listings over to people in our network. Um, we have, over the last several months, had a wave of, uh, of adoption on ownamerica.com. I think I've shared some of this with you, but if not, you go to our homepage and you can see the counter down here. This is how many uh, billions in assets have been enrolled on our portfolio visualizer since we launched about five months ago. This is how much 146 million that has become assets for sale, portfolios of rental properties for sale. That's more than anybody, by the way, by a mile. And then 54 million on what we call the private marketplace, which is people that are willing to sell but not willing to tell anybody. So that's that, that's that uh, um, interesting marketing challenge of sell my portfolio but don't tell anybody I want to sell it. All right, good. That makes it tougher, but it gives us a bunch of inventory that literally nobody knows is available. So this machine has generated um, this portfolio, what's your property worth, um, campaign, which has really only been word of mouth, public relations, and event sponsorship. A little bit of um, Google AdWords every day, but not that, not big dollars to that. But that's pretty big adoption. And what it's done is created more listings than we can handle. And so we are now going to take our non-exclusive listings and look for your help to make them exclusive and we want to refer them to you. Um, when we say this, you know, if you're in residential real estate, exclusive listings are a way of life. Very rarely does anybody else, does anybody even consider, it's usually against MLS rules anyway. Commercial real estate, if you have any self-respect, you don't take commercial list, uh, open listings, you only take exclusives. But in a situation like this where the marketplace is so new, we were willing to be flexible. More, we knew we were going to become less flexible over time. We were going to be more, uh, have higher standards um, of what we charge and how we charge it of customers when we had more to offer customers, right? Our value and our influence goes up, our ability to, um, to strengthen up the rules a little bit, if you want to play on the playing fields, uh, goes up also. But we've got, what's it, 36 non-exclusive listings. Average price is around a million eight, so it's a collection of you know a dozen or so houses. They're all over the country, and we have not been able to secure exclusives with them. Um, we haven't tried that hard, but they are active on the marketplace, and we would rather have them exclusive and uh, give the lion's share of the commission out to you and make it a genuine referral, as opposed to our previous relationship where it was 50-50 here, 25-75, 75-25. That was, first of all, way too freaking confusing, and second of all, um, we want you to do most of the work and make most of the money. <laughs> so how about that for honesty? So we're now working with uh, referring these referrals out for traditional referral fee. 
and um, when buyers are generated on the platform, we also anticipate, uh, you know, it's our discretion, we, we may take some of them if we know exactly where to bring the buyers, but buyers that are generated dynamically off the platform, we're going to refer a lot of those out for a 35% referral fee as well, okay? Now, we haven't communicated this to anybody except for you. You're the first person to know about it. Um, we're going to communicate it next week to the rest of the group, so it gives you a couple of days if you were interested um, in letting us know that you're ready to roll with this. Some of you I already know are. We're already working with you. You know, if you're Bob Burlett, we know you're out there. Don't worry, right? Like, we're not giving away stuff that was going to be going to you because we do have a few people now. Steve Schmidt, Bob, I already mentioned, uh, Jared down in Florida, and others um, that are actively kicking butt with us right now. And um, from a business model perspective, we anticipate very shortly, because of the things that we talked about last week, uh, the marketing strategy that kicks in uh, in beginning next month, um, that we're going to need a lot of help. <laughs> so it's a really high class problem. Um, hey, Bob, what's up? You're on the phone watching the screen. That's great. Um, so I gave you a shout out even though you weren't there. Um, hey, do me a favor if you would. I never asked this. Could you raise your hand if you can hear me? I assume somebody would have said something by now if you can. Okay, good. <laughs> Since nobody raised their hand to share, um, I wasn't sure that anything was working. Uh, so this is cool, right? Um, I'm going to drop your hands. Let me know if you like the change in policy here. Um, one of the reasons for this was that we, A, like I told you, we were getting overwhelmed with the volume of business, uh, wanted to distribute it out to more people, but also um, we've been seeing more and more people adopting SFR outside of our sphere. Okay, there's a lot of people that we work with that never didn't know what SF didn't, didn't know that SFR in this case stands for single family rental, didn't really have exposure. They got trained by us. They got kind of engaged and hooked in with us, and that's how they first kind of learned about it. And, and that's great. That's what we live for. But there's some other people that have figured it out. Um, some of them in the commercial space. I talked about this on some previous uh, Friday sales meetings. Um, and so there's some pretty good people out there that are bringing stuff to us that they already have under an exclusive. They've already got the 5% exclusive, 55 6%, whatever. Um, they're offering out compensation to a buy side, and we're saying to them, put your portfolio on the platform. We don't want any referral fee on that. We're going to find a buyer for it, and if we can find a buyer, we'll collect that side. Um, or maybe we'll even refer it to you. So we've changed. Um, if people are capable of going out, finding an SFR owner, locking them down to an exclusive listing, we want to be the first place they bring it so that we can all work to sell it. Um, and to the extent that we get portfolios, we want your help. So this is the new deal. Um, it's a lot like old deals, right? It's a lot like corporate relocation. In fact, it's just like corporate relocation. I ran a real estate company that had a very, very busy corporate reload division that was part of, well, I ran the company, so it was my responsibility, but I put a lot of energy into it. Um, and the model is simple. Corporate entity, uh, services, captures business opportunities, captures business to business clients, and makes rain on a very studious and well-trained and accountable network of real estate practitioners, takes 35, gives up 65, works out well. People like it, all right? Um, Relo agents would never want to give that up. So we're mimicking something that's got a lot of precedent, and I'm, I'm happy about that because I know that's kind of the um, recipe to make it work. Let me jump back to the listing presentation. All right, so... You know, the real estate broker broker owner hack kicks in. You say, what does an agent need when they get a referral? Well, a listing presentation, you won't have them, but maybe you're stuck going out and making your own materials for um, talking about this. Well, we've got a, a short slide deck here that you can use on its own. You can incorporate it to what you otherwise do because once you're certified, and really even before you're certified, if you haven't gotten certified yet, if you want to get a referral, you're going to have to, but... We consider you part of the family already because you're checking it out and you're here. Um, so you're welcome to take this also. I'll show you where to find it. Hint, it's in the partner portal under resources to download. But this is it. So if you're a seller, uh, you find somebody out there. Oh, no, forget that. We give you um, – hang on a second. You know what? I'm going out of order, and I'm going to regret it. Let me just jump back a second to where I was supposed to be right now that I decided dynamically here um, – undisciplined of me uh, to not go to where I was supposed to go. What we're going to do next is we are going to give these um, referrals to people that are SFR certified. 
and we've got a mixed bag. There's 4,000 people that are SFR certified. Many of them have moved on with their lives. A few hundred of them are very engaged right now or are engaged with us right now since we launched this technology. And a fistful of dozens comes onto this webinar. Some of you have filled out questionnaires, wanted to take on the role of regional reps. So there's a lot of people kind of in the uh, lexicon here or in, the, in our ecosystem here. We're going to want to go to the ones that are certified to give the listings out. What you're going to do, um, if you're interested in this, is send an email to adam at ownamerica.com and copy Greg at ownamerica.com and say, here's who I am, here's where I am. Um, this is, if you've got anything in my city, let me know. Okay? Just to, hey Adam, you want to you want to rattle off the city list after all? Everybody say hi to, to Mr. What's Waters up, everybody? Right <laughs> Thanks, I, don't know, I assume they can see you. Yeah. <laughs> I assume they can see you. Um, All right. What's it? What do you need? Um, just we made a list of uh, of the portfolios that we're going to refer first. Just read down the list. For okay. Me. So the portfolios that we have that we have to refer out are Columbus, Ohio, two point eight million dollars. Phoenix, one point one million. Just rattle the cities off. C uh, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Jacksonville, St. Louis, Orlando, Tampa, San Antonio, Fayetteville, North Carolina, Houston. Milwaukee, Dallas, Kansas City, Vegas, Detroit, Chicago, and West Palm Beach. All right, so what do you want to tell the people who represent those areas? They're going to email you, and what are you going to do next? Email me. I'm going to get you on a call with them. I'm going to help you land the listing and get you onto the first step, which is building this relationship and put you in the best possible position to get an exclusive. Awesome. All right, so he's waiting for you. Yep. We couldn't see what you could see camera-wise. That's why I probably was pointing into his feed or something. Um, so, yeah, Adam, who is the president of the company, he runs all of our national accounts. He's going to be running this program as well. And uh, what we're going to do is we have to identify there are some people that aren't even on this call who we are going to bring this business to because we're already doing things with them and they couldn't make it today. But, you know, I know you folks. If you want to shoot an email out while we're on the call here or over the weekend, if you heard your city names, um, that may be an opportunity for you in the very near term. Uh, if you're not certified, we'll let you know right away if that's an available thing for you. If you aren't certified, let him know. We'll get you into a quick certification situation. Um, and then Adam's going to schedule a call with the seller, okay? Because be, these are already on our website, okay? We already have these listings. Most of them, I believe, are on the website. Some might be private, but we already have these listing agreements, but they're non-exclusive. And we haven't been able to sell them. Um, on the platform as of yet, and so we made a different decision to, uh, and by the way, we haven't been able to sell them because the main clients that we bring portfolios to didn't want them. And there's basically 10 or 15 clients that buy most of the stuff that we sell. So if these fell in the wrong place, in the wrong price range, in the wrong uh, vintage range, you know, you're built, that's why they may not be there. They might need repairs and maintenance that these guys don't want to do. There's other investors that do. So another reason why we wanted to do this is um, because it's time to bring in some local talent, right? We're not one of these people like other competitors of ours who talk about real estate being stock market simple. Well, first of all, it's not, <laughs> okay? And you ain't going to make it stock market simple. It is an entrepreneurial pursuit, and you should be engaged. And having a person in a call center who doesn't know anything about the market or about SFR um, or not much isn't good enough. Okay, a reputable broker who's got a presence in the market, who can sit down over coffee or in a conference room and actually have a conversation, sign documentation, and run that transaction. That's what people who they voted with their feet, right? They list houses with realtors, they list houses with commercial brokers. They like somebody there, and now we made that decision because you can also go work the road, right? You get a portfolio, work the road, find people in the marketplace that own multifamily, show them the virtues of this. Um, so contact us or we'll contact you or um, just be aware that this is all happening and the way we're doing the transition is we're going to assign it to you and then get on the phone together with the seller, try to clinch that seller together and tee them up so that you can shoot them over your documentation and sign them up for a 5% uh, listing. Um, if your company policy is not 5%, then we'll talk about what you're supposed to do with your company policy. All right, so that got us to thinking that we should develop a listing presentation. So here it is. Uh, Odomarca is the world's biggest marketplace for single-family rental properties. That is true. 
and our tagline for the purposes of this conversation is buy, sell, and own smarter. First slide you might recognize, you're not alone, so you're an owner right now, okay? You own 27 properties, uh, single family rentals. You are not alone. There are 250,000 SFR portfolio owners in the US and the problem is there's no place to buy and sell these things. They, they don't fit into the MLS, they're ignored by residential as an industry, they're ignored largely by commercial as an industry, although that's changing, um, and uh, there's no place to buy and sell, there's not enough professional help, which we have officially solved today, and there's no financial management technology, that's the problem. There is nobody doing anything of real substance for you as an owner until now. Solution number one is a marketplace for SFR portfolios, that's ownamerica.com. So buyers search our national database of inventory and you won't find the inventory anyplace else. Sellers are able to reach a broad audience of targeted investors and we have the best in class underwriting analysis acquisition tools in the business and that's also a fact. Second solution is marketing and distribution for single family portfolios. Okay, It's not just about a website, it's about being able to reach the largest institutional investors in the world through one site and that is also true. Um, I'm going to stop saying that's true because then if I stop saying it, you're going to assume the next thing, or the last thing I said was a lie. I think guys in the office are forgetting the printers in my office and they're making printouts on my printer and it's distracting me. Um, reach the only marketplace for mid-sized investors. We're the only ones targeting mid-cap investors out there who are um, buying and selling. So institutional and mid-sized. You will reach overseas. We have a growing number of relationships with overseas investors. And as an owner, you will also be distributed through the 4,000 member Own America network. Okay, so we've got a marketplace and we've got marketing and distribution for you, Mr. and Mrs. SFR owner. Um, we have technology. This is what I call the information, um, the uh, investment management technology. Um, priced, packaged, and presented professionally. So the visualizer, valuations, rental analytics, ROI calculators, projections, maps, photos, property sorter, market fundamentals, this is the way, this is the state of the art of how you package and present for marketing purposes, how you analyze and underwrite for acquisition purposes, and as an owner, how you watch the value and understand what it is that you own in a three-dimensional, multicolored way. So honestly, guys, I'm proud when I see this because we've, been, we've had our heads ducked and just cranking this, and we built a shitload of technology in the last year, um, and I don't think anybody's close. There are people who have raised more money, but there are not people who have sold more real estate on the platform than us. So, different business model. Okay, and here's the last piece, the local relationship. I am S I SFR certified. Easy for me to say. I am SFR certified. 5% commission, 2.5% paid to a buyer rep, 120-day exclusive. So this is uploaded right now as a non-editable non -editable PowerPoint. Um, and the reason is, is that I did this this morning and it takes an extra day to get the editable version out of Slidebean, which is the website that I use to make these things. Slidebean, S-L-I-D-E-B-E-A-N-E, -E -E, like as in coffee bean. Uh, this is how I make these presentations. They're pretty cool. They make it look like I know what I'm doing design-wise. Um, the editable version is going to be up on the um, partner portal to download uh, as soon as I have it. So uh, you want to customize it, you want to incorporate it in what you're otherwise doing, that's why we did it that way. In the meantime, capture screen captures or um, mix entire slides in. You know, the, the non-editable version um, looks, like, looks like this. So all the slides are the same, but you can't do anything. All you got is a graphic. So we'll solve that soon enough. In the meantime, you can grab these images, sort them in with your existing PowerPoint, and make it your own. All right. And I believe that's the last slide on the, yeah, on the PowerPoint. So we're going to be doing this presentation with you for the transition of these 30-something um, portfolios that we're embarking on. Uh, and then going forward, go to town, right? We'll refer you business. Um, if things work out between us and if you go find business, use this presentation and lock it on down, you bring a, an exclusive listing to the table, that's your listing. You can advertise it on the platform, we'll just go after finding a buyer. All right, cool. Um, Steve, thank you. I see your note and yes, I'll unmute you in a couple of minutes. Um, 
Norberto is asking if these are recorded. They are recorded. And just to refresh your memory, if you have it or if you're new, a lot of people come with us every week, and a lot of people come for the first time. So if you're here for the first time, welcome. We're happy you're here. Um, and I want to introduce you and remind everybody else of the website called sfrcertification.com, which is also known as the Partner Portal. Um, this is the place where if you want to get certified, you can click on this link and learn all about that. Um, wait, that brings you back over here. Excuse me. Where was I? Partner Portal. Um, when you click Get Certified, it brings you to a page on ownamerica.com. We're going to have to do something about fixing that so that it when you go back, you know, you can get back here again. This partner portal right here, this partner tutorial, excuse me, is the place where we tell you how to get started, what to do, how to open an account, how to upload an owner's portfolio, how to explain the portfolio visualizer, how to edit a portfolio. There are videos that are getting embedded in here now. How to list the portfolio, how do you price it. This is all here. So when you do get a referral, um, or you want to bring something to the platform, that's where the tutorial comes in. But here, the national sales meetings is where the recordings are. So this one will be loaded on by Monday afternoon. Here was last week's, and um, they're here going all the way back to September. So if you're somebody who's getting geared up for this, honestly, the best way to keep yourself geared up, consider this to be a 30 or 45 minute TV show about being an SFR animal. And go watch all the episodes from the beginning because we've, we've been developing ideas and interviewing agents who have had success and coming up with new things and giving really trying to give you a, a weekly dose of energy and, and knowledge um, and practical experience every single week. So if this is firing you up, go back, get certified. And if you already are or you're not, do that first and start digging in. Or if you want to watch free videos until you make a decision to get certified, these are the free videos you can just go to. So... SFRcertification.com, national sales meetings. Okay. And, oh, resources up here on the right, next tab. That's where you go to download the listing presentation. All right. Awesome. All right, what else do I have? I have Steve Schmidu. That's what I have. Hang on one second. Where's Steve? All right, Steve, I'm about to unmute you. Hey, Steve, what's happening? How's it going? It's going great. Let me uh, get the sound just right. Okay, so Steve is somebody who we've worked with for years. Um, and uh, back when we were selling properties one at a time in the high-speed cherry picking phase and now in the portfolio phase. So um, something's coming alive in your market right now. Uh, why don't you tell us what you're seeing? Yeah, um, it's great. I it's great news and it's it's bad news. I'm I'm kicking myself and driving Adam crazy because I haven't quite perfected the listing presentation yet. So I'm I'm really glad that you're putting that together and uh, this will help me with my confidence on pitching that to these owners a little bit better, to where I'm comfortable like you guys and um, can get more of the commission, of course. But uh, yes, yeah, so I found a 53 single family portfolio a couple weeks ago on your competitor LoopNet's website that was getting zero attention, exposure, and uh, you guys got it locked in at around six million dollars, so hopefully that's going to move along here and close in a few weeks, and uh, that we same... Locked in. We're knocking on wood, but that's in contract right now. After yeah. when, did, when did you, what day, do you recall what day you found that? I found it, I was just looking, I was actually looking for another client for a commercial piece of property, and I just happened upon it two Sundays ago, I think. <laughs> so kind of it's happened it. pretty quick. And that same owner has, I think, another 40 similar properties that they said once hopefully we close and it goes well that they'll look at selling that too. So Now in this um, situation, this, these are properties that are listed by another broker. That broker had buyer side compensation and you're sharing in the buyer side right now. Is that right? Correct, yeah. So um, it'll be a pretty nice payday once uh, once hopefully it closes. And um, then we got another one, a smaller one. A direct, what's happened in Nashville is um, Airbnb just took off like crazy because hotel prices are, are nuts here and we're the number one bachelorette party city in the country. So it's... Um, it's wild. Everybody jumped into the Airbnb market, and of course the hotels are complaining, and the mayor 
it's trying to get trying to really limit people having Airbnbs and making it hard so everybody's kind of getting scared and there's a lot of people that bought a bunch of them and now they're wanting to get out before the market kind of falls on that oh wow that's interesting so you're saying yeah. that Airbnb is now taking over the renting business and landlords who have ridden the wave who acquired and held through the last handful of years are starting to get the idea that there's a little bit of a rumble under the foundation in their industry who the hell knows what can happen I mean Airbnb rents out more hotel rooms than Marriott and Hilton combined and they don't own any hotels yeah so they're a phenomenon that uh, that is now you're saying spooking some of the landlords who are saying let's get out while the getting's good yeah I mean I've got one agent builder in my office that has 25 high ends I mean just he was making on the the peak about ten thousand dollars a month per house and now he's like I'm getting out before this all completely crashes and cashing out and it's about a ten million dollars worth of nice homes that, that hopefully we can make work um, but we did get another one that presented us ten we're we're looking good on that and lo and behold he has another ten that he says if we can get under you know give him a good price he'll go ahead and sell all twenty so it kind of snowballs that's really interesting. I was I was going to ask you, but you beat me to it. Um, you answered me before I had a chance to, which is cool. Um, that I was like, what's going on? Because six months ago, you were one of the first people to take these ideas and run with them, and you had some early success, but not that much in your hometown. You wound up sp spreading out because while everybody out there that we know wants to buy Nashville in a big way, we couldn't find inventory, and neither can they. And I was telling Adam, you know, we do have our finger on the pulse in this business, and so. We shouldn't assume that anybody else knows this, except for the few of us that happen to, uh, because you were on this the whole time and looking around for things, and all of a sudden the year turns around. You know, I was attributing this to maybe just it's another year. People have a new business plan. It's 2017. They were going to hang on for a good ride. It's been a hell of a ride. So let's just get out, and that becoming a kind of a group think that it's a good time to sell has the potential of being contagious. But I never even heard about the Airbnb influence so everybody can keep an eye on that in their markets and see if you happen to see that you might anticipate that that would be a really good time to start promoting all these things to um, or better yet <laughs> I was going to say start spreading the rumor that Airbnb is <laughs> never mind <laughs> they're going to make it tough I mean hotels I mean they, they carry more weight than Airbnb does in markets so they don't like losing business yeah, so the hotels are making a stink, and if you can find, oh, yeah. another, if anybody here can find in another market, in their market, that hotels are, are complaining about a similar thing, uh, <laughs> then there may be a similar trend right behind it, and now would be a great time to go looking for it. And I'll tell you um, one other thing that Adam recommended that, that's really got everything going is getting on your local. We have a website called REN here. It's kind of a local investment uh, group. There's about 6,000 members. And once we got that, uh, you know, that big one under contract, I kind of threw the word out there that we have an active people looking. And if you have anything like that, and I had my phone just start blowing up, so that's where all these are pretty much generated from. So you posted a a message on a on an investor sort of peer to peer message board. Yeah, a local, a local Nashville one. Um, just said, you know, through throughout the website for you guys with my referral code on there so I don't know if that got clicked but really people just start calling me and reaching out and a lot of them are multifamily they I, I try to exaggerate single family resident you know that's what we're looking for and um, that's where the 10 property one and we got another four property one in town as well that that we got going today so that's networking that way is great yeah that's fantastic and and just the, the realization that we've had a couple of times in this process since we got this thing going in September. And by the way, for those of you that are new, we've been around since 2010. Um, Steve and us have been working together through 13 and 14 when we had a big account that was doing a lot of business in his town. Um, we've been around a long time. We launched the new ownamerica.com that we have today in September. And the entire business model changed and, and it's, it's catching fire. Um, and we really do think that our secret sauce we have two. We have some really cool technology that we dreamed up because I think we understand investors and um, the way they think uh, and what, what's possible 
for them more, I think more than anybody else out there. We know how to, how to tell the story about a portfolio um, and it attracts people, but it's you folks. The fact that we're not sitting here forsaking a ground game, that we've got the combination of air power and a ground game. Um, and if you missed last week, uh, you heard me reference that we have a marketing campaign kicking off, a pilot kicking off in, um, in March, and I'll give you 15 seconds on what that is. We are creating, we have created a mechanism to take a display, um, the display that we have in what we call the portfolio visualizer, all of this data, visualization, charts, graphs, and maps, and produce a six-page investment statement in print. And we bought a database of all the owners in the country that have SFR. We have rights to all of it. We've started acquiring city by city. We're sending out thousands of mailings starting in, um, in March that has content like this about their portfolio because we know which houses they own. And when those people come and sign up, about 10% of them are going to want to look at their pretty portfolio on screen. and 90, 100% are going to want to look at their pretty portfolio on screen. About 10% are going to want to sell it. And we think it's going to catch fire, which is why we're starting the referral program. So we can bring them in, help you lock them down, put them in, their, in your hands, and go find the next one. Um, and just feed the business, all of it, to our field operation. So we're psyched because you can't stop that. right? I don't care how cool somebody else's website looks. Um, if the service stops at a call center, it's BS. And I don't care how <laughs> – these guys are my friends, and so they may have spies on this. They're not BS, but – I get crazy. And talking to Steve and hearing what's going on there and knowing that that's possible and knowing that he has market intelligence, that he might be the only guy in the country sitting on top of a powder keg of maybe a few million dollars worth of commission in 2017 and 18, uh, that gets me really happy. Um, that's why I put the kid back up again during that part of the conversation. So I think I was going someplace with that, but I ended up someplace different. Um, I wanted to look at this dog. <laughs> Did somebody say Friday? Um, all right, Steve. Anything else you want to add? No, I mean it's just it's been really alarming. I, I didn't I underestimated how many people own multiple single-family rentals. So even being around, you know, I didn't know so many individuals that that owned them. So it it just really snowballs, and you get a few, and you become the person to go to when they think about selling. So it your phone starts ringing people you don't even know. Yep. And how nice is it to have people, especially big ticket customers? Um, be thinking of you as the person to go to and look past people they know, people they bought their houses from, uh, people they may play golf with, looking past all of them and going to you because this isn't like anything else and that was their fault. You know, I mean, the, the, your competition are the ones who have been ignoring this and so they don't deserve the business. You do because you're paying attention to it. Um, and, uh, and so that's great, man. I really appreciate it. I'm really happy things are cranking and um, you know, one more observation I would make is that some of the people that whose houses you're selling, I'm guessing they bought them like since 2010. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you were involved in the first big acquisition wave back in 2013 and 14. Now you're involved in a new kind of acquisition wave, which is people that want to buy stabilized portfolios, but you're getting the listing side. Um, and you, you, you're you're part of a disposition wave too, right? So you, you, your tempo is acquisition wave. It's creating disposition wave, which is creating a new kind of acquisition wave. And it reminds me, actually, and I'll close with this, unless anybody has any questions, um, throw them up there now. Um, my family business up in New York is Better Homes and Gardens Rand Realty, and it's about 1,000 agents and 25 offices, and my mom started it in the 80s, and she got it on her own up to about $7 million in revenue, about 200 agents. My brothers and I jumped in in the late 90s and cranked it up to 50 million in revenue and 1,000 agents in about seven years. And it's, or maybe 800 agents and it's grown to 1,000. Uh, it's, it's a terrific company. And it's one of those regional, really strong regional entrepreneur owned real estate brokerage companies. Um, a real estate company has to, have, has to have a great top producer, right? Somebody who is just really sweet and nice and supportive of the company. Any, real estate companies whose top producers are um, nasty and selfish and egomaniacs, uh, that company suffers as a result. And my mom had some real winners in terms of the good side. So a gal, a gal named um, Gail Solinger, uh, God rest her soul, Gail was the first top producer at Rand Realty and she held that title for I think 15 years. And she was the first person we saw make a quarter million, the first person we saw make a half a million, three quarters of a million, a million. She was a machine. 
um, sweet as pie. We called it a cupcake. Um, and Gail had a challenger named Margot Bolin. And Margot um, was younger, a spitting image of Raquel Welsh. And Margot loved first time buyers. Gail was a listing machine. Margot went the other way and she focused on first time buyers, which is where her heart was as a young mom. And she went the extra mile and she was great at it, but she also would have picnics and her, her, her customers would become friends with other customers because they were in similar times of life. And you know how that works. I had kids and my single friends don't hang anymore. So I meet Margot's customers at her picnic. And Margot cranked up and became number two. And the battle between Gail and Margot went on for, I got, I got to say, eight or ten years. And Gail just kept edging her out <clears throat> until Margot's customer base grew up and decided they wanted to sell. Now Margot became a listing machine because she had seeded the marketplace with so many first-time buyers that as they became move-up buyers, like right around the year 2000, I think, 2002, um, she was able to overtake Gail. And Gail was ready to have that happen, and she was an awesome sport about it. Um, never saw somebody pass the torch with so much grace, right? Um, that's what Steve has got going on right now. He was a, an acquisition guy. Now he's a disposition guy and another kind of acquisition guy. When you can ride a wave that has a tempo to it um, and catch both sides of it, no matter which way the market's going, you're getting a piece of it, uh, there's a fortune to be made. So that was a long story, but I hope you liked it. Um, how many new home sales are you seeing through Own America? New home sales. Mike Lind, how are you? I'm. Uh, <clears throat> so you do mean builders. Yep, okay, I'm reading the rest of the question. Okay, so your local, <laughs> your local builder association wants you to come make a presentation on Own America. That's awesome. Two weeks ago, we focused on this call on the build to rent trend. And if I had to, on the spot, if we've got 12 portfolios in contract right now, three of them or four of them are brand new construction. So 25% um, of what we're seeing that we're taking action on. And the reason why it's a growing percentage is because the buyers love it. I mean, the buyers are crazy about new construction. Sorry, Greg. We just got another one under contract. Steve, that's yours, buddy. That's, okay. a, that's a 14 property portfolio. Now. All new construction. Uh, not new construction. Already uh, newer property. Build to rent. Build or rent. It was built to rent. So build, we talked about this, and I won't go into it. If you want to hear the long form, go back a couple of weeks. But build to rent, builders love it because they can close the sales model. Okay? They can build houses and move them. It's a new market that has a different buyer base, and that buyer base is different than the home buyer base that they buy in bulk. And so um, I, I didn't see it coming. I didn't think it was going to work, to be totally honest with you. I didn't see why a builder would do that if the market's hot. And the answer is to be able to guarantee an outcome. So we're seeing a growing percentage. If you have a chance, call us in the meantime. Get that presentation locked down, Michael, and, and let's uh, put together a presentation together so you can go in there and, and knock it out of the park. Okay. And the yields, um, Michael's question is, are the yields different on the new construction? Not really. Um, the renters are willing to pay up a little bit for a brand new house. And so, you know, the difference in what you can command for a brand new rental makes up the difference of maybe a little bit bump in price. So they're coming in at similar cap rates, which is why they're going so fast, because I can get something brand new, still under builder warranty, still under appliance warranties, doesn't even have a nick on the wall or a booger on the, <laughs> why am I doing this today, Adam? Does the <laughs> no fingerprints, forget boogers. Um, I think I'm just, you know, it's Friday, the dog, I feel like him right now. Um, it's going to be a great weekend. You may be getting snow, you may be getting 70 degrees. Um, uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you enjoyed this. I really did today uh, because you guys are making money, and we're all going to do this together, and we're going to have get on board and take a ride with us, folks. Things are happening, and you've got the secrets right now. All right? Thanks a million. Have a wonderful weekend. See ya.